Turning now to the world of technology, SD Engineering is investing 250 million Singapore dollars in a five-year program on physical AI research. The initial focus will be to enhance teamwork between humans and unmanned systems. It comes as Singapore urges workers to become what's known as AI bilinguals, people who are both experts in their own fields and fluent in AI. Kate Lowe reports. This robot dog and his humanoid friend are the first rescuers in disasters. They can scan buildings for survivors and feed their information to responders, alert hospitals and dispatch ambulances. It's an example of physical AI where machines have the ability to sense, act and adapt in the real world unlike traditional AI that stays on screens. The objective is to advance robotic, swarm and humanoid solutions to solve real-world problems and to address operational challenges. And with all these AI and the robots coming in, we need to work with the human and to ensure and to achieve seamless collaboration between the robots and the human. This year. That's why ST Engineering is also investing in its people. Its goal is to upskill 4,000 engineers and create 1,000 AI specialists in fields such as cybersecurity and agentic AI systems. While AI enables faster, smarter decision making, it is no substitute for humans. We believe humans are needed to interpret insights, make new ones choices and guide AI towards meaningful outcomes. This focus on talent is in line with the recent call for AI bilingualism. Digital Development and Information Minister Josephine Teo says workers who can pair AI knowledge with expertise in their own fields will be key to driving Singapore's digital economy. The government will help our businesses and people go beyond listening and learning to speak the language of AI fluently. These are the building blocks for broadening and deepening AI adoption that will yield good results over the long term. She says doing so will allow practitioners or specialists to transform their work and improve outcomes to drive the digital economy forward.